my camera. Something really, really weird going on. Okay, so it's targeted one. So that I'll see now how this thing works. Did I get any light? What the actual hell is going on? For <sighs> okay, let me save this thing and reopen it again. For some reason, it's not working properly. It's one of those unexplained max things. Things work until they don't. And then when you try to fix it and you cannot, you just restart max and then it magically starts working again or it doesn't. We shall see what the problem is today. See now. Come on. <coughs> okay. Let's test it and see now if this thing is going to work. I know. See? Not not works. Not goddamn works. This is weird. Yeah, they even got the color coming from the environment and everything. So it's fine. It kind of even looks nice if you have uh, over, if you have light coming up from above from the ceiling. Let me just check the kitchen. And this is one of the main reasons why I really don't like doing rendering while I'm streaming because when you're doing rendering you have to do a lot of like testing of illumination and stuff that takes time while you're uh, in the phase of like tweaking lights and stuff so that's that basically means that you have to just like sit here and look at the screen and wait for it to like give me some uh, feedback and that really does not make it a very interesting thing to do on a stream. But, yeah. For now, at least, from what I can see in here, we get some decent light coming into our scene. So that's, that's nice. I can see some nice uh, light coming even from the bathroom, from those two small windows that we have in there. And 
this is all without using any sort of uh, uh, lighting portals to help drive the light so just raw light and that's nice that's actually okay I'm happy with how this thing is uh, lighting up stop the rendering for now that means that's okay we got ample light coming in here so uh, what is there anything you guys can like uh, add to this scene or you would like me to add to this scene something like a major element of this thing because the only thing is uh, pretty much that, that's left is adding in the small things like all the kitchen amenities here like you would put knives and stuff uh, in here maybe put a, a slow cooker or a microwave in there put some like covers here put some bowls and stuff like that so what I'm asking you guys is do you have any ideas on what to add to this scene to make it a more interesting scene like the top here I'm actually working on the tutorial on the uh, why do I keep forgetting a telescope on the telescope how it's made so that thing will go in here uh, the bed is also the tutorial is uh, being worked on I have to like finish it up and render it so we're gonna have a tutorial that's gonna have uh, how to make the cover for uh, the mattress, how to have a uh, folding uh, blanket on top of this thing. Uh, the desk. Which desk, Valentina? And I do agree about the railing here. We do need some sort of a rail, a rail here. What I can do though is just reuse what I have in here. See if I can just do this. Uh, okay. So copy the one over there. These two can go up to about here, I guess, and uh, start with the snap. Yep. And these guys are not needed on this side. And delete. Although, uh, over here, what I could do is probably just get this thing deleted as well and make these guys span all the way down like so and now I can just get this thing over on this side as well and there we go now we got some rails here This thing can now get over here, rotate around, just come in here, you can sit down, uh, do whatever the hell you want to do from here, but I really, oh, you know what, you can put the dog in here, like somebody said, a dog pillow, there it is. Uh, Vera next is great. So if you have it Kudos, I actually tried out the the trial version 
uh, I did have a bit of uh, work to do on a different project that I was working on the, at the time, so I did not have much time to play around with it. I only had like a quick glance. So on my uh, on my uh, side, it was a, a bit of a timing uh, issue. I took the uh, 30 day free uh, trial and I'm more or less m managed to like spend a day or so just like trying it out so that was a oversight on my side but honestly though I might actually go ahead and buy the V-Ray next as well so we'll see if I go ahead and do that I'll make some tutorials uh, about it as well anyways so we're gonna have that thing in here so we need a small desk like Valentina said I know that there was some desks put in the discord so let me check out the discord channel and maybe choose one and make that thing this is way too big These are really not needed, but fine, whatever. Everything will work in uh, uh, 3ds Max 2014. Very next will work. At least I think it will. From what I saw, that did have the installer in there, so it should it should work. But don't take my word for it. Just go over to. Uh, chaos group and test it out you can test it out for free for 30 days hell I even have a video about it okay no more clipping there that's fine okay let me see what you guys have placed in here so go, 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 go. streaming related there's probably something in here okay there it is All right, log cabin. Oh, this is nice. It's a small one. How big? I like the way you think, Valentina. Actually, that's gonna work just fine. So let's go ahead and put that thing under here like so and you know what just get rid of these two ones and this one and this one as well remove those uh, get this thing to go across to about here all right fills up the space and these two edges remove them all across okay now we have that thing going on and we can put some seat cushions in here but since I don't want to just go ahead and do uh, some modeling for those seat cushions I'm just gonna use some of the pillows that I already have here Scroll down. Let's put it something like this. All right, one in there, another one in here. 
offset it a bit. Rotate around again. All right, cool. All right, somebody posted something in here. What is this? Is this like a half a barrel and something inside that thing? It looks like a bath. Yeah, see, I love my uh, stream chat. There, oh, there's always somebody who's uh, promoting alcoholism. Oh, so this is for a dog, All right? Hodor, 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 Hodor. Name your dog Hodor. That's nice. Okay. Now. All right. So what? Which one should we make? Which desk? First, second, or third? This is the smallest one. Mm, I actually like this one the most. But this one is fine as well. That's ah, great. Let's go with the first one. Okay, plus this is gonna be just regular table, not, nothing too complicated. Let me see if I can actually take something that I already have. Hmm. Let's see if I don't have to model everything, but instead try and modify the already existing one. Take this thing, drop it down. I will need to make it a tad bit bigger. Ooh, a rocking chair. That's actually not a bad idea. That could be a nice thing to do for a tutorial. Because I don't remember seeing a rocking chair uh, tutorial anywhere on the internet. Alright, first thing I'm gonna do is just check the regular height for a table. Alright, go for table height. Okay, where's the table height? Dimensions. All right, so a table should be about 75 centimeters. That's fine, we can work with that. So 75. Five, I'll get off. This is the only and uh, oh hello. The hell? Alright, so this is the height for the table, it should be. And I will need the second part to not exist. Actually, you know what? It can exist because I have actually cut it up. So I can use it in here like so. You guys can come all the way up. 
Now we can use this for the drawer, which is okay. And in here, I might actually just do this. Okay, cool. And actually remove that. Get this and this. Squish them down a bit. So they're not clipping up here. They're sending nice down the bottom. Cool. Put it over on this side and we are rocking. The only thing that I'm missing in here might be that half of this I want to make it so it has some opening up drawers, which means that I will need to have one of these guys. So edit poly, just extrude one of these to about here, own as an object, select it center, rotate 90 degrees, okay, uh, plants and stuff uh, like filler objects are not going to be a problem, but for now I'm just trying to like get the big items out of the way. Everything else is it's basically a filler for this uh, scene.
goes everywhere. Paste in here as well. And here's the thing. Uh, when you do something like this and you don't want to do a proper UV, and if you do it like this, you can see that we're going to see a bit of a problem. The problem being that it looks like it's all just one piece of texture. To break it up, just go in, edit poly, select one of these elements, drop now a new UV map. But since it's selected only the element, this UV map will only be applied to this thing. So now if I take the UV map and just move this thing to the side, I can break up that uh, issue that I had previously. So I can just move it around like that. Hell, I can do pretty much anything I want with it. But you, now you know how to break up uh, the texture without actually doing the proper UVs. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Just leave this thing. And I want to address the thing that... Uh, Sarah said with a divider. So Sarah, where do you want to put that divider? Do you mean uh, move this thing a bit uh, more to the back and then put it over here? Between the bar and the sofa. Okay, so you mean over here then? All right, that's cool. Let me just do this so I know at least what's going on here. So I'm gonna select these guys. And then let me check this and see how it's made. All right, so this is just going to go across, goes down. But one, two, three. Yeah, easy. All right, so first I'm gonna do is, I need to know exactly where I want to put that thing. So auto grid and on the floor. Move it up, something like this. Okay, I know it now, at least I know where I want to put it. So move this thing to about there now and the isolate and let me just hide some of the stuff because it's really getting in the way it's annoying me support beam yeah there we go this thing can now go a bit down to maybe something like this, like this And at the same time, let me just do the cut. Okay, so slice plane with the rotation to come along with in here. Oh, this is really nice. So close. Okay, I guess over here is fine. Hit the slice. And this should make it so that now I can select this piece. It's no longer needed. Delete it. Oh, and actually, you know what? I don't want to work with all that. Just a polygon. Just one polygon. From that, I can actually extrude the things that I need. Alright, so if I have this, it's actually in an inverted version of this one, because this one uh, is capped by the ceiling. I don't have a ceiling in here, so I don't want to make it go all the way up. Yes, I, I mean I can, but I don't want to. I just want to cap it over here. Let me see the isolate now. There we go. Alright. How long is this thing? How's that, Sarah? It's a new uh, thing. I do not know 
uh, who chose the songs or whatever. It's just like I downloaded it. So it's supposed to be uh, uh, free for use for streaming. So yeah. Okay. All right. So if I got this, what do you guys think? Is this uh, going? Uh, that's actually far enough to the back. I might actually move this thing a bit more up, but you know what? Nah, I'll leave it like this. Okay, so now I want to do this. I want to get this edge and this one and connect them together. Like that. And then go and make one cut across like this. Okay, so now, with that done, I'm going to hit the edge, just move it so I get something more of a straight line. Okay, so now, uh, select all of these guys, inset them for a small amount, like maybe one. Uh, not as group, but actually as polygons. Oh, hello. Let me see what the hell's going on here. Ah, I see. So we got two poly, uh, two vertices in here. And the uh, interesting thing is when you zoom in, you don't see them, but it's actually two of them. Okay, so target weld this thing down to here so now we got only one left all right let's try that again insert one maybe two this time though okay it works just fine now I want to detach this as a clone get these guys and now I want to make some connections that are gonna go across but the problem with making that is that uh, when you're connecting two pieces that have a triangle next to it I actually scratch that it's gonna work just fine so I'm gonna make uh, 20 of these guys. Connect. Yeah. More or less the same. And over here, now select those two. Connect. Increase the number. I'm just trying to eyeball it so it's more or less at the same uh, distance from each other. Okay, so those are uh, created. Now from those, I'm gonna create a shape from the selection, make it a linear one. Make a shape from that thing as well, linear, and make another shape from this thing. So go, not connect, but create shape from selection, linear, fine, boom. Okay, now delete this. Delete those. All right, now shell. To give me the uh, thickness of that separator. I'm gonna make it so it's like maybe five or eight, zero. All right, so eight, and on top of that, I'm actually gonna use a chamfer, a small amount, 0.3 maybe. Okay, that's fine. There, and now I increase the angle so I know. Okay, no. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it like this, so go with 35. There we go. 
Now for these guys, I want to do the rendering way, go with rectangular. And now let's make it three by eight. So eight is this, is the width of this thing. So let's make it maybe smaller one. Maybe let's try with six. All right, so three, three and six. Let's do the same thing over here. Three and six. And same thing over here. Okay, rectangular, three and six. So now select everything and move it in. Select all of them, give them a different color. And we got our divider in our scene, which is gonna give us that look or their, that more interesting look that, uh, was it Sarah who said this? To, yeah, it was Sarah. So there we go. We got that thing. And I might actually want to go in here and do a bit of a move. So just get those, all of those guys and slightly move them down so they are not actually seen as they're protruding a bit, something like this. Yeah, there we go. That fixed that issue. Oh, that's not something I can see here. Uh, I might actually need to do the same thing over on this side as well. So again, very minor like movement here for the vertices, just so they clip inside. And get this thing to go up. And just for the question that uh, do they have a UV uh, assigned to them? When you do this, if you want to use any sort of a texture, for example, if I go ahead and apply one of my textures to this thing, like the wood, you're going to see that it doesn't have a UV applied to it, but I can just click on this generate UV mapping coordinates and this will uh, give it some uh, initial like automatic UVs. So when you create this, if you click on this generate mapping coordinates option, now you can actually use it to uh, put any texture to it. There we go. Let me just here, you can generate mapping. And I'm actually going to put one extra edit poly on top of all of those splines so it's actually seeing them as geometry opposed to just splines. For here, you these just copy this thing, paste it over here, and there we go. Let me just check something. I want to see if this thing is gonna work better if I select all of these guys. And then local, locally, just, oh, hell no, uh-uh. Local line, nope, and Nope. All right. What I had in mind was just take one of these guys and uh, go ahead and rotate it, but it's I wanted to rotate it in a different manner. So just like uh, offsetting over here, something like maybe like, like this. But yeah, you know what? That's a different approach. Not with splines. <sighs> All right, Sarah, any more ideas?
This is actually quite nice. I like this divider thing. Nothing at the moment. I see how it is. I. Alright then. Uh, like I said again, uh, we're trying to just get the big things out of the way. Because everything else, like the smaller things, is... You would have used the divider at the chairs. What chairs? Oh, the stairs. Alright. Uh... Wait, what? You want to use it here? Let's see how that thing looks then. I get all of this. Okay, so. so close to being the right height, but it's just a tad bit too big now. Move it this way. by using these dividers it, it's making it look like this is a it has multiple rooms so I'm actually happy with how this thing looks like I'm okay with this We got dividers then, I guess. Okay. Of course you do, sir. Show me your simpler divider. But you know what? Why make things simple? Okay, so at least the kitchen is getting some decent lighting coming in. Although I do uh, like what Sarah uh, is saying about the simpler divider, at least for the one that's underneath in here. What the hell is going on? What do I have for GI setup? It's brute force. Why is it taking so long? 
Anyways, okay, this is fine. We got nice lighting. So the only thing that I'm kind of missing in here, let's just just test this thing out and see how this is gonna work. So I'm gonna isolate this and go do that. Go plane one side to the other again. Okay. Now edit poly. Oh hell no. Goes one by one. Now move this thing over here. Alright, cool. So now select this. Create a shape out of it. Uh, make it a layer shape, that's fine. Go and take one. That's about seven centimeters. That's you know what? No. Uh, we'll keep this around uh, its own axis, 90, and then go like this and pop off maybe, I don't know, 50 of these copies. Now, I uh, get everything here as an edit poly. Attach. Nope. Damn it. Alright, make everything unique. Yes. Now attach everything together. Like that. Save before Max crashes. And now, and the isolate. There is one more. There we go. Do I have that thing? Yes, I do have that thing selected. So now, get in here. Do the slice again. So, slice plane. this slice take everything that's left over okay now like that there we go delete those Need it. Cap dose. Alright, cool. So we just need this thing to have an inset of maybe like three. Ooh, way too much. Three. Two. Alright. Delete and shell. The shell should have an eight. Eight is fine. Okay, so get those things out of the way. So now we no longer need this. Okay, so delete that. And what's left off is uh, this guy. We don't need it. So delete. All right, we got this. Uh, come in here. Get the UV map from it. Drop it over to this, go paste on top of the edit poly, paste, okay, and 
I could give this, uh, these guys a bit of a chamfer because they're gonna look a way too uh, a bit too sharp like this. So small chamfer, uh, maybe zero point one, just to help drive that corner or get help me get that bit of light coming in. So chamfer again, uh, zero point one. underneath the UV map, select both of them and apply the same wood. Let's just take the other one, the flip one, there we go. Okay, we got that divider in like this. We got this on this side. me hide some of the roofs so I can see what the hell is going on okay so that thing selected this thing selected I'm gonna give them the same color oh hell no where's my layers okay hide the ground All right, cool. We got those dividers. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent idea. I actually like this. All right, cool. So we got those dividers in. Uh, and for the top, we put in our uh, table, which looks awful at the moment, but still it can be used as a placeholder. And we got the rails up for the top uh, part now. What else do we want to put in here? Come on, we need some more ideas from you guys. See what to do, how to... How, how do we make this thing more interesting? Any more ideas? And take into account the fact, like I said, uh, disregard the lack of small uh, elements like pictures and vases and uh, different stuff for the kitchen, amenities or whatever. What we're trying to do is uh, fill, it, fill it up with the necessities, the big stuff, the things that define the space. Everything else is simply a filler object. Because from what I'm seeing at the moment, now this entire uh, room or this entire house or this entire project is slowly coming to a point where it has everything this thing needs to have. Now everything that we want to do with it from now on would pretty much be defined with what kind of a story we want to tell. For example, like this... Uh, room up here with this idea with the uh, nice uh, pillows and if I go ahead and actually design or um, model a nice cushion seat for this thing here this would make it a really nice place to uh, sit down and read so if I were to make a render for this thing I can make the camera from here slowly see uh, the edge of the uh, uh, the table maybe something like this from here start uh, to play around with the depth of field and uh, underneath in here you can put some books maybe even like tilt the camera a bit so you can see uh, this piece over here so this uh, beanbag so you get that feeling like this would be a very very uh, um, an amazing place to sit down and read your book and enjoy the day so yeah, it all kind of depends on what sort of a story you're driven uh, to do, like what you want to do.
but for modeling wise we've pretty much done a decent uh, design job and most of this is thanks to Valentina and Sarah the girls were the stars of this one but anyways uh, like I said I wanted to make this uh, stream at least an hour so we'll be going on for about an hour and ten minutes and before I head out I want to ask you guys about your opinion on a single thing uh, what would you guys like to see in as a topic for a next stream like what what we what should we like tackle what, what should we create for the next stream give me some ideas micro apartment that's a an amazing idea I actually like that I love small places uh, Lucas about the environment things uh, all right I love creating environments but if you want to get amazing environments you really really do want to use photogrammetry assets and uh, I do want to start on photogrammetry as well like show people how to uh, go over the entire workflow from getting the pictures or taking the pictures all the way down to creating a 3d asset and using it inside anything any like either unreal or maybe 3ds max or unity or whatever Uh, yes, I know mega scans, but uh, mega scans is uh, stuff that, that's already finished. What I'm talking about is uh, photogrammetry workflow. So basically, you taking your phone or your camera or your uh, DSLR, going outside, taking images, and then uh, creating a 3D model out of those images. So that would be interesting to uh, go over. Find art exhibition. We'll choose art sculptures and we'll create them. That's not bad. I actually like that. All right. Tell you what. I'm going to stick around for another 10 minutes or so. And this is everybody's uh, chance. Like, here's the stream related uh, thing on Discord. Go over in here. Now, everybody that's live at the moment. Go over here and drop your ideas. After this is finished, I'm gonna go and create a poll on the community thing on uh, YouTube and ask everybody as what they would like to see. Now, before I get the questions that I'm 100% sure that I'm gonna get from people, and that is, am I gonna do V-Ray for this thing uh, or this model? I don't wanna do V-Ray uh, rendering on a stream because from what you saw it takes quite a bit of time so I might actually go ahead and redo this whole um, project as one whole project and pack it together and that will cover uh, texturing that will cover uh, UV uh, uh, UV that will cover uh, lighting and everything I would probably even go ahead and create a small environment for it so when you render it you actually get the idea like you are inside a forest all right we got Sarah with the furniture store all different sorts of furniture uh, the small apartment thing I actually love the idea let me just drop down Small apartments. Yeah, micro apartments. How about a production line? What do you mean about a production line?
Mm, not bad. Factory scene, it's gonna be a lot of uh, hard surface modeling with uh, mechanical stuff. Could be interesting. Ah, Parthenon type of uh, architecture. Not bad. This could look like an interesting. Hey, don't worry, there is no such thing as a stupid idea. It's like all different ideas. Like, whatever we choose to go with, it's probably gonna be uh, sometimes, uh, sometime until we finish it. So, yeah. I'm gonna put um, a poll, like I said, on, uh, on the community thing. So everybody, once you get the poll thing, vote in there. And if you got any ideas, leave a comment in there. I actually read those things. So if you get a good idea, just drop it in there. I'll uh, see it. And next time we get around, I probably will have you guys help me choose which is the most interesting idea. And then we're going to start uh, by, uh, by actually doing something that we, that we did not do on the first and the second uh, topic and that is get a layout a layout meaning that we're gonna go ahead and spend one stream where we're gonna put pretty much everything that we would want to put inside us uh inside our scene and then once we finish one model we are not gonna spend much time just like going and looking for a second one but instead we're gonna have a more of a ideas to what we want to create so with this i'm actually gonna end the stream here today i would like to thank everybody that was with me today it was fun we actually managed to get some nice uh things to this uh, scene and quite honestly i'm happy with the layout that we created so once i start recreating this whole thing this is gonna be uh an amazing house once it's finished i can guarantee you that so for now like i said thanks everybody and i will see you all next time and leave a like on the youtube video and leave your comment on the poll that i'm about to create so take care everybody and have a great weekend bye bye